1939, the world held its breath as Adolf Hitler, the Führer of Nazi Germany, and Joseph Stalin, the leader of the Soviet Union, signed a pact of non-aggression. This pact marked a brief and uneasy peace between two nations that stood on opposite ends of the ideological spectrum. Hitler, with his fascist vision of a world dominated by the Aryan race, and Stalin with his communist dream of a global workers' revolution were unlikely bedfellows. Yet, the pact represented a strategic pause, a moment to gather strength before the inevitable clash. This was a dance of diplomacy and deception, a prelude to a war that would engulf the world and change the course of history. But the peace between these two superpowers was fragile, and Hitler's insatiable ambition would soon shatter it. In June 1941, Hitler launched Operation Barbarossa, a massive invasion of the Soviet Union. This was more than just a military operation. It was a gamble of epic proportions. Hitler, emboldened by the successful Blitzkrieg campaigns in Western Europe, believed he could deliver a swift knockout blow to the Soviets. Operation Barbarossa was a display of military might unlike anything seen before. With 3 million German soldiers, over 3,000 tanks, and 2,000 aircraft, Hitler aimed to seize the vast resources of the Soviet Union and destroy communism. The plan was audacious, a lightning-fast attack on a front stretching from the Baltic Sea to the Black Sea, intending to reach Moscow within a few months. Initially, the plan seemed to be working. The German forces made rapid advances, capturing vast territories and millions of Soviet soldiers. The Soviet Red Army, caught off guard, was in disarray. For a moment, it seemed as though the audacious plan was going to succeed. However, the vast scale of the operation was also its downfall. The long supply lines, the vast distances, and the sheer size of the Soviet Union started to take their toll on the German forces. As summer turned into autumn, and autumn into a brutal Russian winter, the German advance slowed, then stalled. The gamble of Operation Barbarossa, however, was about to face the harsh realities of war. As the German army pushed deeper into the Soviet Union, they faced logistical issues, brutal weather, and fierce Soviet resistance. The vastness of the Russian landscape proved to be a formidable adversary in itself. The long supply lines and the harsh winter took a heavy toll on the German soldiers and their equipment. Moreover, the German forces, accustomed to quick victories, were not prepared for the bitter and protracted struggle that awaited them in the Soviet Union. The Soviet people, united by a mix of fear, hatred and patriotism, put up a staunch resistance, refusing to give in to the invading forces. Hitler's overconfidence and lack of strategic foresight became glaringly evident as Operation Barbarossa began to stall. The German high command had grossly underestimated the Soviet industrial capacity and the sheer size of the Red Army. The Soviets were not only able to replace their losses but also to mobilize additional reserves, turning the tide against the invaders. Hitler's vision of a swift and decisive victory was shattered as his forces got bogged down in a war of attrition they were ill-prepared for. The Blitzkrieg, which had proved so effective in the plains of Western Europe, was losing its steam in the face of the Soviet Union's vast distances and harsh climate. The Blitzkrieg had turned into a quagmire, marking the beginning of the end for Hitler's ambitious plans. Faced with the German onslaught, Stalin orchestrated a war effort that turned the Soviet Union into a fortress. Recognizing the stakes, he rallied his people with a blend of terror and patriotism, urging them to defend their motherland at all costs. Stalin's strategic decisions were as ruthless as they were relentless. Key among these was the scorched earth policy, a brutal military strategy that involved destroying anything that might be useful to the enemy while advancing or retreating from an area. This policy left the German forces starved of resources and exposed to the harsh Russian winter. Parallel to this, Stalin mobilized the Soviet industry with a singular focus to support the war effort. Factories were repurposed, production was ramped up, and entire industries were relocated to safer regions. Through these measures, Stalin ensured that his country was not only prepared to endure the German assault, but also to retaliate. Stalin's strategy was to fight, survive, and ultimately turn the tide of the war. Hitler's failed invasion had far-reaching consequences, forcing Nazi Germany into a two-front war it could not win. 
The failure of Operation Barbarossa created a domino effect that accelerated the downfall of the Third Reich. The Soviet Union, once an ally, now became a relentless enemy, consuming vast amounts of German resources and manpower. Hitler's miscalculation not only led to a protracted war in the East, but also paved the way for the opening of the Western Front. The Allies seized upon this opportunity, launching an invasion of their own. The D-Day landings in June 1944 marked the beginning of the end for Nazi Germany. Struggling to fight on two fronts, and with depleted resources and morale, the Nazi war machine began to falter. The colossal mistake of invading the Soviet Union had now come full circle. Hitler's nightmare of a two-front war had become a reality. Operation Barbarossa is widely regarded as Hitler's gravest mistake, a turning point in World War II. This monumental miscalculation, rooted in overconfidence and ignorance of the Soviet Union's resilience, set the stage for the Third Reich's downfall. In launching the ill-fated Operation Barbarossa, Hitler bit off more than he could chew, opening a second war front that stretched his forces thin and exposed them to the relentless Russian winter. The failure of this operation marked a strategic shift, turning the tide against Nazi Germany. It shattered the myth of the invincible German war machine and gave the Allies a glimmer of hope. It also allowed the Soviet Union to regroup, rebuild, and eventually launch a counteroffensive that would push the invaders back to Berlin. In the grand chessboard of World War II, Hitler's poorly planned gamble was a fatal blunder that cost him the game. Hitler's hubris had sealed the fate of the Third Reich. Operation Barbarossa is a stark reminder of the complexities of history and the consequences of power wielded unwisely. Hitler's monumental miscalculation not only cost him the war, but it also cost millions their lives. It underscores the importance of strategic foresight, humility, and respect for one's adversary in any conflict. This event stands as a powerful testament to the fact that even the most formidable of forces can be undone by a single fatal blunder. It was not just the might of armies, but the magnitude of miscalculation that determined the course of history. Thank you for watching The Fatal Blunder, How Hitler's Biggest Mistake Cost Him Wu II. We hope this deep dive into history has enlightened you about the importance of strategic foresight and the devastating effects of miscalculations. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about pivotal moments in history, don't forget to hit the like button, share this video, and subscribe to our channel. We'd also love to hear your thoughts on Hitler's fatal mistake. Please leave your comments below. Stay tuned for more insightful historical analyses. Until next time, keep exploring history.